Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 2.30, August 24th, Saturday, about 77 degrees. I'm supposed to hook up with some buddies um, this weekend, old college roommates, and uh, spend some time at a cabin they, uh, they have on a lake a little further upstate. And uh, unfortunately, um, her grandmother died. Um, the the um, Kathy's grandmother passed, so um, that's put off. So I have more time to uh, play with toys. That'll be rescheduled uh, for the future. Um, anyway, sorry, Kathy's grandmother died. It's always always hard to say goodbye to a loved one, especially um, you know, grandmother provides a lot of continuity in your life. So um, anyway. Given it's Saturday, given I just woke up from my nap, I, this is always kind of a reboot. I'm, you know, always kind of wake up and figure out what I'm doing for the week. So, basically, we could call this a uh, Saturday reboot video. Um, one of the first things I, I do on Saturdays is uh, is go through what parts I've purchased, what I need to move projects forward, um, and if I don't have what I need, then. I decide I'm not working on that project uh, unless I could get what I need locally. Anyway, um, I seem to have a 185 200S head fetish. So I've been, uh, whenever I could get one reasonable on eBay, I do. I don't know, am I showing you this or am I showing you my hand? Um, yeah, I just got this. It was an eBay deal. It was it was cheap, um, less than fifty bucks. I considered cheap for one of these, especially one in this condition where the um, where the um, exhaust bolts are in good shape, the valves are in good shape. They're not all sunken. I mean, the retainers are, are sitting there. You can see there's a little space between them. That's all good. Right, no dings, no dents. The spark plug hole looks good. I don't know, could you guys see that? So, anyway, first thing I got was a head, and they even threw the uh, the major bolt, this that bolt in. So that's first. Second, I uh, mentioned I was buying a uh, spare CDI. And um, the no-name brand died, but the Jantel is in there working. But given this thing appears to have a perplexity to burn up CDIs, I got a, uh, another one. So this is for the China Quad or the Baja Quad. So we have that. Given... Um, my wife's birthday is coming. She likes this Brighton stuff. So, got a Brighton necklace. This is new, not customized. So, I'm not sure what all those letters mean. I mean, I, as in, you know, yes, or I'm a pirate, um, and I'm not sure what the back ones mean, don't much care, she likes them, she likes hearts, so this is what I buy her, it's a, you know, you keep the wife happy, and that means you get to do what you want to do without too much oversight. And lastly, I picked up, these are connector links, I don't know if you can see them, yeah, you can see that. Those, so that's a connector, and that's a half link, and those are for size 40 chain for that guy. And I'm also going to need some from this guy. This just came in too, this came in at the end of last week, probably came in on uh, Wednesday afternoon, I think. 
Tuesday, Wednesday. And, well, actually, so the beginning of last week. This is the rear end for the 125, the TRX 125. It was reasonable. It was 60 bucks. Uh, unfortunately, it was another $40 to get it shipped. Um, I got it just as you see. Um, it came with the plastic caps, which is a good thing. A couple of the uh, bolts are missing, but I'll take them off the other one. These threads look really good. It looks like to change it, it's a matter of four bolts. The brakes appear good. The bearings appear good. Came with a hitch. So all that is uh, all that is very nice. Sprocket's in decent shape. You know, great shape, no, but decent. Functional, I mean, for 125, it's not like that sprocket's going to work all that hard. So, reboot Saturday. Um... What projects could I do? Obviously, I can put a rear end in the 125. I have the master links to do that guy. That guy has me concerned because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get a carburetor on it. I don't like how short my space is. And if I get a carburetor on it, I might have the same problem that Clown had before me, that I can't get an air filter on it. So i I got to look at that closely before I spend too much time grinding the hell out of my motor mounts. What's the use of putting together a set of motor mounts when I can't get the motor in? Um, just, it, it appears as if the 200X motor is a little bit, um, where the head is, the head area, it, it appears as if it's a little more compact for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, um, but, but it is a tad more compact. And uh, lastly, seems that I, uh, I can't put any building or almost building or like a building up without occupying it just for laughs I threw this tarp over this uh, yet last week it's one of those cheap blue blue ones uh, one should almost not even call it a tarp you should call it a uh, a um, drop cloth I mean because they're, they're really thin you're not covering much with them um, but anyway, I just threw it on here to, to keep these guys um, dry, and uh, it seemed to stay put and so forth. Um, that bike has it plastered up against the shed, which has it stable. And this guy, I got the handlebar on it. So, I mean, if it chucked around enough, it would get loose. But anyway, I set this up on Tuesday, and just for a laugh, to see what it would do see if I had any any uh, real horrible defects in my thought process of putting up what I'm trying to put up and uh, it seems to have stayed there a couple of days obviously it didn't survive any snow load and it didn't it didn't do anything uh, strenuous we did get rain a couple of times but um, it's not like with grass all around it that I could tell how well it sheltered anything but Anyway, I did figure I'd uh, try it. All right, guys. Um, hopefully by the end of the week, this shelf with all the tires on it will no longer be here. Where the tire's going to be, uh, if I knew the answer to that question, I would be really good. No, um, i got to find another place for the tires, and they got to get there. Um... But that shelf is going to be gone, and i got to start re rearranging this. Um, DM Morgan said that uh, just piggyback the three-wheelers. Um, I have, I have a, I think it's a 110. It's a 90 or a 110 sitting down in the garage, and it's uh, instead of standing up on its back wheel, so to speak, up against the wall. Um... I guess that could be done, especially for bikes. Well, without engines, what do you got to lose? Um, it's not like the oil's going to run out of the rear end or anything. So that is that is a consideration for space. But typically, you, I lean them up against the wall, and if I lean it up against the wall, I lose more wall space. And what I'm really dying for is wall space. So that is a consideration, and maybe I can tighten up with a couple of bikes that way. Um, these guys here, um, the um, Honda uh, 250 ES, the 
Big Red and the TRX 250. Those are really the two I'd love to stand up against the wall, but they do have rear ends that'll leak out oil and uh, possibly get into trouble, so I don't know. Um, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. <coughs> Live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Sorry for the hoarse voice. I just woke up. So, see you in a bit. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting, folks. Take care now.